Hi Dave. How you doing? How are you doing today? I am just getting drinks and shit together and trying to decide which Monster Hunter I should play. Pretty much already decided I'm just going to start a new character and see how far I can get and stuff, but I don't know whether to do it in World or in Rise. Rise is the, the newer one, um, got released initially on the Switch and it came out on consoles not long ago, so it came out on PlayStation, Xbox and on PC. So like World's main thing is that it was the first big console one and the cool things you have with that is the, uh, the monster tracking is a lot different in world like you've got to collect actual tracks and stuff like that and you've got little fireflies that follow them to help you out in rise your main thing is your mobility like you have way more mobility than you do in rise than any of the others right fuck it we'll do rise one There, update the stream. So we will make a new hunter, we shall decide what weapons we're going to use and we'll just bust out as many monsters as we can. And feel free to request some songs as well, Dave. Song requests is on. Yeah, you'll be amazed at how much mobility and shit you get in this one. Like even with the the great sword that I usually play, you can whiz about all over the place. Um, that's the one we want. Bom. New game. Now we get to do the dumb bit and make a character. Could 
but yeah, I can make him look like a skeleton. Get that uh, Call of Duty Ghost look. as pale as possible. Unfortunately, World literally had a skeleton makeup you could use. Um, we'll go for this one. Um, make you white. Do we get the this one? Now if we make this one dark as well, vaguely skeletal. Um, probably the music. That should be better. Uh, Need to make a bit more transparent. Um, that'll do. <laughs> Emo mime. It's about right. Um, now we're going to make the dog. What kind of dog should we have? Um, oh, yes, I had the extra ones in. Pretty much have a fox. That one's more like a hyena than anything else. Um, I know we'll make Bill so he can be like almost white and blind. There's a way to make this fade and get out of there. I know these bits can be 
darker brown. There we go. His eyes are closed, just like the real Bill, because he dumb. Right, you could be Bill. Done. And then there is one that looks like a bear, so I can have Richard. Or well, looks vaguely like a bear. There we go. This one. And we just gotta change the colours. Change all. No pattern there. How was it you made it darker? I can't remember. There is a way to make all of it darker and I can't remember what it is. I don't know how that'll do for now. Uh, eyes. There's the bear he is. Tail. With the stupid stub. Poor type. Uh, yeah, we'll make him a healer. Having a healer one's always good. There we go. We are good. Now we've just got to decide what we're going to fight with. So weapons are always the fun bit of this. Yep. Great job. Got a message from the guild says you are now a certified hunter. Really living now? Can't just call you that now, you certified. Stop me. Elder Fugan. Inform the village of the coming rampage. Yeah, so there's basically like a stampede coming towards the village. You're going to work out to stop it. And they're all congratulating us, saying, oh yeah, you're officially a hunter now. So yeah, we are a hunter. In our beginning gear. And we're going to go and talk to all this bollocks to... So you're the dude who sells stuff, and the scam artist who does the lottery. Is the blacksmith the most important man in the village? Sure. He makes all our cool weapons and Last shit. Uh -huh. This is the chef who makes all our cool buff food. 
Because you always eat before going on a hunt. You get like loads of bonuses and things like that. The Gathering Hub, which is where you do all the multiplayer shit. And everything that is out there is also in here. Hi, Manu. You have not missed much. We have just made our character. And our dog and cat. We have not decided what weapon we're using yet. Indeed. Oh yeah, you actually missed lords. You missed so much. Um, talk to the ninja man. Yeah, I'm just skipping through all the intro stuff at the moment because this is all basically just one long tutorial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take a photograph of him. There. Blah, 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 blah. Talk to the quest person. She's in the other bit. Run around everywhere, use the fancy flips to get everywhere. You get a cat and a dog in this one, and you get a bird. Or oh, the bird doesn't help you fight, he just drops in to say hello. Look, it's our bird. He's called... Gimp. What inappropriate name. Then he is called Gimp. Sure. There. It's always a way around these things. And yeah, I stole the... Uh, mm. I chose the stubby tail for my cat. So yeah, my cat's got the, the little stubby ball tail. Yeah, he's called Richard. And then we have... My dog is Bill. Yeah, yeah, you've got all the add-on stuff. And you're the guy who tells me I can go online. Yeah. Uh, accept all. <laughs> right, so we've got you, who does all of the... Regular quests. Quest has been added. Take care of yourself. And then we've got you who does all. So the quests from this woman in here, the hub maiden, all of her quests are meant for multiple people, so they are more difficult um, just by standard. So if you're doing it on your own, you're basically trying to solo something that's meant to be for. Two, three people. See you later, then. But now, now we need to decide yeah, we've got layered equipment there. We need to decide what weapon we're going to use. So we get all these options. We've got a great sword, which I'm familiar with. Like my main, my other character that I'm playing through at the moment with is Great Sword. I've got Hunting Horn, which I've used in previous games. We've got Sword and Shield, which is like a little support one. You got Lance, who's basically the tank of the game. You got Hammer to bonk stuff in the face. Uh, you've got Switch Axe, which is like the big DPS monster, and you can switch between like a sword and an axe. You get Insect Glaive, which is the Flippy Dippy Boy. Heavy Bow Gun, which is literally you're walking around carrying a heavy machine gun. You got Long Sword for the Weebs, which is just like a massive katana. 
You got Wayno's favourite, the dual blades, where you're carrying two short swords. You've got Gun Lance, which is it's like Lance, but the end of your lance explodes. You got Charge Blade, which is like the big Charge Blade is the main one for like doing statuses to things. You got Light Bow Gun, which is like much faster firing, much quicker moving version of the heavy bow gun. And you got bow as well. Which is an archer. So great sword is the one that will cross off completely because my other characters are great swords, so there's not much point. So you guys can fight between yourselves which one we which other one we should do. Just what do you reckon? I want for any of them because you get to start with some for any of their um like any of the weapons you start with a couple to try out we do beyblades we'll do beyblades uh defender yeah we'll get the defender ones on hey bort so we've just been uh looking at the weapons and stuff and wayno has decided we're going dual blades so we'll stick um, some of this armor on. What have we got here? Here we go. It's the guild cross stuff got on it. I put all this on. Geologist, botanist, marathon runner, carving, hunger, wire bug, wall runner, attack, earplug, constitution, recovery free. Yeah, we'll get this. So we're going full Beyblades. There we go. But what we'll do is we'll also... Say hello to this nerd. What does he want? Under a community, yada yada yada. Oh yeah, he's telling me about arena quests, which are also pretty difficult. So we're going to go to... Um, Here. We're gonna go this way so we can get to the training area. Oh god. I just felt like dicking around because can't be asked this week. So yeah, this is the buddy area where you can hire other palicos and palamutes and send them off on missions and shit like that. And there's a tiny boat to take us to the training area, which is where I wanna go. But yeah, you'll love the um, the movement options you get in this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if we go here, I should get some free ones because. Nice talking to you. How are you holding up? Um. You always get a couple free. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I don't know if more money left for the rest. Right. Be bored. Select all their skills and shit like that. Oh yeah, they've got skills I can assign to them. So Richard doesn't have any at the moment because he's not getting any slots. But he's got pretty good ones there. Healing, stop stun, extra health, stop paralysis. And then the dog we've got. Attack, paralysis, knockout. Element I took up. So element up will be good for um, dual blades. I quite like this. I actually prefer this one to uh, to world. Right, we'll put healing scroll on because healing scroll is always good. And then equipment. Anything different we can give them? No, I don't like it. How about you. And then gear, no, we've just got them.
Try again, Dave. It's been a bit wonky the past couple of days. No, the, the bot's been a bit wonky. Stream Elements have been doing some updates to their bot and it's just... I've had to like reset it a couple of times when I've been testing things. There we go. Right, this is the training area. This is where I can get to see the moves. If I remember right with jaw blades, the main thing is they're going into the like... The different stances. So you get like... You got those. And then you've got the, your like... Your B one, which is your moving around the area. And then your main combo. And you've got demon mode, which is other attacks. And then you do the big fancy fast combo. And then when you build up demon mode, you can do arch demon mode if I remember right. So when you build this up. Yeah, so that's the... Oh, it's got the positioning as normal now. Then you exit. So what are our wire brush moves? We've got... So that's melee ranged one. So if we're right up in melee range, we can do. this do? Ooh, oh it's a tether, cool. So that'll keep me within range of the monster I'm guessing. And then the other one just seems to be a dash. No more. Ah yeah, you just get the cool guy dash. Ah yes, that's what uses up your demon energy. And now it goes back to the normal roll. Cool. Right, I vaguely know what I'm doing with these now. So... Yep, I've got a room as well. Oh yeah, there's a dude hidden in here as well. Hello! That guy tells you about secrets. Um... Let's go beat something up. Sure Get an urgent quest. quest. Oh, this is just going to be him telling us to do stuff. These halls of worship, once so bustling. I do like the new maps they've made for this as well. They're, um... They're about the same size as the ones in World, but they're easier to navigate. Alright, so it's going to be this guy just telling us what to do. Yeah, yeah. I've been waiting for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
head to the destination, but first, steal free stuff. You always want to take what you can out of there. See, I could just dash like it tells me, or I could go all the cool guy method of moving, which is a thousand times faster. So, our reactions you can wire dash. Yeah, silt by moves, you get two wire bugs. Dash, you do weapon, gunner. Yada yada, yeah, she tells us about the moves and then I can do this. And yeah, you can, uh, you can ride your dog to get around the level quicker. Like this. What else you can do is dog drifting. Dog drifting is entirely an option. And it is way faster. <laughs> hey, hero. These are little birds that buff you if you run near them. So that, there we go, little bit of stamina permanently, these things are only temporary. Up some bones while we're here. But yeah, the little birds that fly around, they look like, um, they look like, um, what are they called? Hummingbirds? But yeah, those guys, if you run near them, they like leave their stuff on you and it gives you a permanent buff. And then they fly away. Birds. <gasps> Cookie song. Yeah, stamina. Stamina runs low. More dog drifting. And now to kill some little things. That's my ace. There we go. If it isn't Kimura's brightest flame. Right, I'm pretty sure you're just a dodge, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Tell me to use X to sheath my weapon, but I changed that control. It's one thing I always change in this game. It has a setting to like automatically sheath your weapon if you're out of combat for a couple of seconds. And it's really annoying if the boss has just run away from you or something. So I always change it off so that it'll only put it away if I tell it to. <gasps> Hi Lenori, how you doing? And now we can fast travel. Cool. I'm back. Hey, hero. There we go. Training done. And the timer's going. Whee! <sighs> Are you still stressing out over those exams you got to do? Unlocked something new. We got the hardest ones tomorrow and the day after. <laughs> Have a look around. Yeah, yeah, we can upgrade armor. It's yeah, we got more quests. Uh -huh. How about this weather? I'll be here if you need me. Who else wants to talk to us? Boss. 
Yeah, you'll you got this, Lenora, you'll do fine. You are a smart person. There we go. Who else wants to talk to us? Here's the blacksmith, and he will show us what other cool stuff we can do. Looking for something new or an upgrade? We're gonna swap the blue ones because they're better. There we go. we make any of the cool other jewel blades because some I know you can just buy just the bone ones yeah so you can see as you discover more stuff as you fight more things you can make more make more weapons and that's like one two three four five six different types available at the start there are dozens of different types right let's go do some more missions right we go here's the quest list yeah i don't need those ones we're not going to bother with the expeditions because that's just exploring Empty all this shit out. Because we're not going to need most of it. Get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you. Get rid of all them, because I'm not using any guns or anything. So we've got healing stuff. And buffs. Right, well, we'll just take the healing stuff for now. There. Uh, I think I've got the limit set to like 15 minutes or something. I can't remember. I know there's some like good songs that were just above 10 minutes that people wanted before, so I just changed it. Um... Oh, there you go. It's set to 11 minutes at the moment. But if you have got a longer one, I can, like, push it through for you or something. I actually heard this one like literally a couple of days ago for like the first time. <laughs> Can't remember who it was who sent it me as well. <laughs> right, so this one is just kill the little monsters, so We'll do that. Yeah. Right, little bastards.
I used to know somebody who knew all the words to this song, like off by heart. So you could just ask him at random and go, the guy at uni called John. So he used to be able to say to him, John, what's the lyrics to Blood Chain Gang? To a bad touch. We just reel them off. You and me, baby, ain't nothing but mammals. <gasps> Free bogey. Right. We're going to find more of these little guys. Oh yeah, that's the other thing you can do, you can jump off your dog to do a jumping attack. Yeah, I remember him. There we go, got him. Here we go. Yeah, we also uh broke that karaoke machine at one point during Dave's wedding as well. I'm trying to remember what we were singing. It was, I know we were singing Blink-182, but I can't remember what song it was we were singing. And it was like me, Dave, our friend Steve, all up on the stage, like singing and dancing at the same time. And then just suddenly there was a cut. It turned out like one of us had stood on the power cable or something and just unplugged it without noticing. We were just there like mid verse and suddenly all the music cuts out and we're like, uh, what do we do? When do we get to fight the actual monsters? Little guys. Oh, I've got to do all these ones first, don't I? Good luck. Blech. Here we go. I can't remember who else sang. I know Nat sang because Nat was one of the few of us who can actually sing. I can't remember who else sang.
<laughs> yeah, I can't do karaoke unless, like, I've had a couple of drinks. I need that liquid courage for it. That and somebody else to be up there with me. I will not do it on my own. I think Rob traumatised me when we first started working at Tesco and that's what did it. Yeah, when me, Dave and a couple of other people Uh, yeah, we're me, David, and a couple of other people. Um, first started working at a supermarket together at Tesco. They did like a big pre store opening. And they had a party, and there was karaoke. Our mate Rob managed, decided to pop me up for it without telling me. He got me to sing Britney Spears. Lucky life. Give me. Got to be just in time. So yeah, this is one of the part of the reason I like this game. You should zip about everywhere like a ninja. Especially when you start fighting more of the little wire guys. Yeah, but Lenori, this was right at the beginning of the night when everybody was stone cold sober so it did not work right. collect mushrooms gonna fly through these quests so we can actually do the fighting ones. In fact, I can just stay on the dog for collecting mushrooms and shit. Listen up. Connect, collect the unique mushrooms, right. This sounds like a bar redeem. In fact, no, I, I in fact know this is on the on my uh, other playlist because Bart put it on there. Right, get fancy mushrooms. Delivery complete. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, one of the other things you could do with this one, run up walls like a ninja. You could do all this shit. In fact, the highest point in the level is just over there. We'll climb it. Balls. Someone left a sword. And then Here we go, we're at the highest point on the level. 
<laughs> this is amazing. Yeah, I forgot some of the... What was the other one by this guy that I've done? Because it's the there I ruined it guy, isn't it? There we go. Mushrooms. I recognize this one. Back to the village. Yeah, the guy who makes all those, Dave, does loads of them and they're really, really good. He's great at matching up the audio as well. Yep, yep, yep. Worst news ever. Why have you lost stuff? Yes, mm -hmm. you always lost stuff. Bye -bye. But I get to fight a proper monster now. How about this weather? Hmm? <gasps> hmm. Wow, Manu. Don't forget to eat. Mm -hmm. He's the first of the big monsters we're going to fight, even though it's a little big monster. There we go, we've got a little question mark on the fat on the map now, that means we've got to go and find him. He'll always be really close to that question mark, so he's not difficult to get to. So I'll pick up a little, a couple of the little buff guys on the way. There he is. Right, fight time. These are the hunting base. I remember how this goes now. Yeah. Stab the wrong one, but it'll do. And I can do the cool thing now. If you damage him enough with the right moves, let's do this. Yeah. So if there was more than one monster around, I could make them fight. But seeing as there isn't, I can just like slam him into a wall. There we go. Oh, this guy's got no chance. 
He got me. I dare. Got him. There you go, you're just gonna stick to him. Here we go. <laughs> Where many I've got? Um Hi Iris! <laughs> Have fun in Overwatch. It's the first of the big monsters taken down. We've got a lot more to do. <laughs> What do you want? You're the one who gives us new stuff, aren't you? Oh, you're just the guy telling us new abilities for our dog. He can carry extra stuff. Right. You're done. Hey, Club. This is a brand new character I've made on a weapon, I've not, weapon type I've not used before, so. Here we go, we'll fight the bear. I'm good. Right. We got the heels. Let's go and get some buff. So now we get to eat Dango. And it all does different things. So we got like Gatherer. Makes the healing better. Speeds up weapon sharpening. What we could do with that. Um. That one, I'll take Defender. Oh, yeah. Those are great. Yeah. Now you get to watch the cool cooking things that these games always have. Is ridiculously well done this song. <laughs> yeah, God, I am enjoying myself just dicking around with a new character on this. 
Also, yeah, the dog and the cat that are following me around, you get to make your own as well. <laughs> Just for the dango. You see the, uh... The one from Monster Hunter World, where they just make you, like, an entire feast. Right, time to fight the big bear. This one will be, the, like, the first proper test of fighting. Right. Gives us a flash pod. So he's going to be this way. Yeah, you can see on the map in the bottom corner now as well. It's always more than one monster on the map. Sometimes they hide themselves so they don't not always visible straight away. So we can question mark, which is the bear thing. And the one we fought before is a bit further up the map. What's this? Is it fish? Fish. Fight time. Oh, you got me quick straight away. Hmm. Ah, no escape. Yeah, it's like a cross between a, a bear and a, a honey badger, it's called. So, once on the world, when you wanted to dodge with these, you mainly used your circle attack for it. Seems like you actually have to use the, do the dash in this one. Yeah, if you try and use the circle dash, it'll still catch it. Need to recover before he hits me. There. No mind, he got me anyway. So, yeah, you can use the circle to do like reposition, but you can't use it to avoid in this one. You actually have to use the dash for it. Ow! Stop it! Yes. Too used to just smacking him around with my hand, with my sword is the problem. Like this guy on the great sword, you just smash him in the face and knock him flying. Also, you can go full with this game with the great sword. It's it's fun because you can go full face tank on all the damage because you get counter moves with a great sword because you don't normally get. So you can just wait for him to hit you and then counter it. There you go, look, he's knackered already. Three more. Let's go, let's get him. Oh, it's the actual badgers. They're here as well.
Got him. There you go, here's the little badgers. And my guy's just murdering them. There's uh, dozens of monsters in this game, and they have a. Uh, you get like variants of them as well. So there's like a great big red version of this guy who's uh, called the Apex one, and he's a uh, super experienced. Like he's supposed to be much older, more experienced one. He's all red and covered in scars and stuff. He looks great. So people want to talk to me. Who? Hey, you. <clears throat> Should have known this would be a Lenore song. <gasps> Tiny submarine. Oh yeah, I can get up to the nest in here. I forgot. More free stuff to get from a secret. <laughs> she knows what she wants. So if I sneak up here. It's a bird nest with all the stuff that he's stolen. Gimme. You wish to trade? Until we meet again. It's a tiny submarine. Let's send them off on the submarine to get some stuff for us. Um, order items. We want... What are we going to want this early? Pony making the advanced stuff, but I will send you off to get them. All aboard. Let's go. Wave them goodbye. We got, they're off to go and get some honey for us. Right, that's just the thing saying you can use the extra stuff. Right. How about this weather? What else we got? We got the big rat bit. The other lizard. We'll fight the big rabbit. Good luck. There you go, it gives us a bit of extra health. And there we go to the frosty lands. On a frosty mountain range.
Right, what's down here? See, I don't know which one of these is the monster that I want now. Right, Lenore, when it does that, it's that specific video that it doesn't like. Hi, Maud! <laughs> No, you, you can do the same one, you'll just need to have a look on YouTube for the same song, but a different video, basically. How are you doing, Maud? Sounds like a good day. That's a song. I saw something really funny re recently that uh, the director of the Bayonetta games, name escapes me at the moment, is uh, a big fan of like big band mu music and at an E3 event him and Seth MacFarlane met, just spent their entire time talking about big band music. <laughs> <gasps> Boo. Come on, sharp. It's always dangerous to sharpen because, yeah, the monsters come after you more when you do. So many cute perbs. Ah. There. Again. I'm getting hit by everything. I need to get used to dodging with these things. Too used to just face tanking things with my greatsword. I just want to do that. Ah. 
Ah, oh, it's limping. Dug up mushrooms. Pay attention to your stamina. Right, um what's gonna be the best wake up for this guy? It's just gonna be this, isn't it? Got him. It's over. Here we go. Just big old man alive. More bayonets. Right, um Who's next on the hunt list? I'll take all that stuff. Enjoy your lurk mode. Nerd. Be careful out there. Running into the darkness. Fang. Let's do this. Right, it's going to be the other question mark. As soon as we know what the the one on the right is the rabbit thing. So I might switch over to my other character after this, just so I can do the... Show you the crazier... Difficult hunts, because it... I forgot that, like, the first five or six levels are just going through the motions. You don't even get anything for doing it.
Oh, this thing is dying fast. There we go. Didn't even get a chance to run. show you the difference now with uh, playing with a great sword. So the great sword in the old games was weird as well because it was literally because it was slow and heavy you would hit you would put it away you run away to dodge you turn around you'd hit again and occasionally you'd do your combo but the way it is now like it's set up so you can just face tank your way into things which is great. <laughs> Long sword in this you would like, Dave, because you can... Like, the wire bugs that you can use to move around these things... Like the long sword moves, one of them literally gives you the um, judgment judgment cut that Virgil does. So you know you used to have the um, the one that was the you'd sheath your sword, and like if the monster hit you, you did a counter. It's like a version of that, but you do Virgil's judgment cut. And then the other one is like a, like an escape, I think. But you get more as you progress through the game. I can show you my uh, my great sword ones now. This is the other area. My meldings are done. Welcome. Very cool. Let's begin, shall we? Three mail three. They're all coming useful at some point. Thank you for your so yeah, this is my great sword guy. And uh <laughs> let's get one of these to uh go on bolly so i'll show you what the tanking's like with the great sword i just need to change because i was trying some yeah it was you need to be rage slash these are the different like wire bug skills you can get but the two new ones for great sword which are great at this one so this one you dash and it, it like protects you as you do it and then this one is literally a counter <gasps> try again Lenori you just need a different link. So we'll grab these. We will buff up. So we have to buff up with all these ones now. But yeah, the way. 
great sword used to work was you you'd hit once maybe twice <laughs> You'd hit once, maybe twice, then you'd sheathe your sword and reposition and then do the same. But now with uh, with this, you're set up just to... Well, basically face tank everything. You still take chip damage. Sometimes you take a lot of chip damage, but other than that, you just wail away at stuff. So we'll do it to this nerd over here. There's the target. So you can literally just let him land on me. As long as I've got the right move charged. this way. Oh, you're just spitting at me instead. Yeah, you can see I'm taking ship damage to my health as I'm doing stuff, but as long as I keep my stuff charged, He'll rarely ever actually catch me. And now these two are going to fight, because so I'm going to make them. Watch this. in the face. Got you. It doesn't like you today, Lodori. Don't know why. It's just being mean. It is worth doing, Dave, if you've still got it. But if you want to start new characters on World, I'll join you. I think. Because I still have it on my PlayStation, I'm sure I do. Might still even have a character on my PlayStation version. Can't remember. Missed. One hit me. I might get paralyzed. Um, it's not crossplay, unfortunately. They have explicitly stated the next game they release will be 100% crossplay, but it isn't at the moment. Well, like I said, I've got. I have it on all systems because it's been like free on all of them at some point. Uh, 
Ah, that was timed wrong. Yeah, I can't remember whether it was my PlayStation character or my Xbox character I got uh, this on. I even played it on PC for a bit at one point because I played it with some people from Guild, like Wayne. Well, if she ever wants one of the easier weapons to play. Have her do hunting horn. Do buffs and shit constantly. Your damage doesn't matter as much when you can throw out all the buffs while you're doing it. Especially if one of them self heals. <laughs> so yeah that was a hunt do my great sword you noticed i didn't use any healing just tanked my way through everything <gasps> i did it I'll be back in a second. I'm going to go and grab my food. Time to head home.
I'm itching to get started. I have been wanting to be a blacksmith ever since I was little. Guess you could say I'm something of an expert at this point. <laughs> I'll be here when you need me. Change for all your questing needs. I hope we can talk again soon. No, I wasn't. Time to go. No, I was just saying <coughs> like the sheer amount of stuff that's available in this one and I've not even unlocked all of it yet. Like these are all the different great swords that I can make. Like some of them I don't even know how to make yet. Like that still shows up as a question mark because I've not encountered the stuff to make it. And then there's a question mark to the right as well, because there's even more to unlock. But yeah, I'm going to do one of the missions now that takes multiple people. See if we can do it. It's a buff up at the start. And then we'll see if anybody joins us. Me mm -hmm. doggo. I have the robot dog armor on because it looks really cool. Grab the beetle as well. You can throw beetles at the the monsters. It does weird things to them. So like that's a snow beetle, so it'll usually slow them down. And I don't want to fight you, so I'm running away. This way. Right, we'll go off to the weird snake one first. He's over here. Snake cat thing. They look great, like they spent a massive amount of time. 
like even redoing some of the designs on the older monsters. I know why it does that, but it's basically YouTube flags videos for like different regions. What an embarrassment. And there are some videos that are flagged for copyright, like in the UK and a couple of other places. I think it's like UK, US and a couple of others. And it just won't play those if mine is set like mine is set to UK so if it comes up with any of those and you know when you normally get the message saying oh yeah this video is not available in your country even if you can view it normally this player thing just won't play it it's something to do with the way YouTube categorizes the video if it's got one of those restrictions on It does it a lot, because it does it to like a lot of the official music channels. Yeah. So like, Cupcake Remixes and stuff, they'll all fall under fair use. They're not copyrighted, there's no claims or anything like that against them. But a lot of the official music channels, they claim their own music. It's like a weird thing, they don't have to because it's the official channel. But they raise like a copyright claim against themselves. And that will, if it's restricted in your country because of one of those claims, then it just doesn't like it and won't play it. Ooh, a 1k hit there. Oh, somebody joined us. A light bow gun, you see. Ah. May the heavens have mercy on you. So the move I do with the charge up on this one does more damage if I take a hit from the monster before I let it go. I can only charge it for so long. So if I charge this one now, if he manages to hit me at all, she doesn't. And I just took all my chip damage so I need to heal. Whoop. There. Farewell. Get ready. Let me on him. Yes. Right, is there anybody no near I can make him fight? There is. This way. This is one of the things I like about this one. Like mounting in world was literally just you jump on top of the monster and attack it a couple of times. In this one, no, you're in control. Surprise! There. Knock them into each other. Done this one so I can ride him and then use him to wear down the one I want to kill. Because I am smart. Get him.
Let's escape. Don't want to be trapped in that little corner. Ow. Escape just. Pick these up while I can. My bags are left. Nothing personal. Oh, the monster shot up. Right, time for them to fight again. And now I can use this one to. Oh, the other guy's doing it. No mind. We better do this properly. So we've got the weird snake dragon and the bubble dragon. Pretty pink bubble dragon. Too slow. May the heavens have mercy on you. I know. Let's go. Dumbest little move. Just do like a little slap with a giant sword. Right, uh what time is it? What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn off song requests in like four minutes. So get your last songs in, and then I will go until the playlist runs out. Break that mud ball thing he's got in his tail, but I can't get there. Can't get in the right place for it. Come here. We got him. Winner. Now I've got to go get the bubble one. And the bubble one is really awkward to fight. One thing I do like about this game 
that they've changed from World with the monsters is on hunts like this where you have to go after more than one monster in Monster Hunter World they decrease the health of the enemies so like say you had to fight three of them it decreased the health of them all to like a third of what it would normally be but it meant sometimes they were really really easy because some of them have like different abilities they use based upon how much health they've got so sometimes you could just bypass those abilities by throwing as much damage on as you could in this they've changed it if you do a hunt now and you have to do more than one monster rather than changing the amount of health they have it they just give you more time they say no you're not having an easier monster it's just more time you're getting instead There you go, this is the bubble dragon. Which have me slip sliding everywhere any second. Meh. Bubble dragon is one of my favourites. Like, added in this one. Because this one, you can notice, like... It gets like that oily multicolor effect on its uh, scales as well. So there's this one, Mizutsune, which is the like the bubble dragon. And there's another one they've added in this. And I don't know how to say it properly, but it's basically um, like one of the new big boss ones they call them elder dragons and it flies but it doesn't fly like like with wings or anything and it doesn't fly like it's um like hovering or anything it floats like it's got bubble sacks and it just sort of floats and turns over in the air and stuff it's great But yeah, Bubble Dragon is my favourite. And then it's the uh, Narwa, it's called. The one that floats is called Narwa. Right, I got hit by the bubbles, I'm going to be sliding everywhere. Oh no, it ran out. are officially off so we're just playing through now Two great sword users in this one, so we're both just knocking it over constantly. Yeah. 
Let's go. Oh, he's going for a capture, but it's not going to work. Not tired enough yet. Once again, me and the other great sword users are just bullying this thing. again. We'll add it to the list. And that could be the last song. Here we go. Did it. Might as well put this to use. I'll help myself, thank you. Carve, carve, carve. Nothing personal. Okay, then I'll turn it off. Ah, <gasps> new piece. Well, it's ever it's got that little sparkles on it like that piece did then. It means it's a rare one. And I'm missing loads of those because I'm just not lucky with drops. <laughs> Bubble foam. Good song. The Handsome Family. <gasps> Guildmaster Hojo, what does he want? Oh, oh lucky Lenori. Oh, is he going to give me a next level up quest? Yeah, urgent quest. Teostra, crawling about the lava caverns. I will show you Teostra even though I will die horribly on my own. Because it's an old fashioned lion dragon. So you should see it. Like, you'll see what I mean by what it looks like in a second, but this thing is a good old fire breather. He's here to judge the wicked who sully his domain. It's a good enough excuse, don't worry. Emperor of Flame, Teostra. Let's go. 
Right, it's going to get burnt to death by him. <laughs> All right, sure. I've just been chilling and doing a few hunts. I'm just showing off one of the big boss monsters before I raid on over to you, most likely. Also showing off my stupid base tank build that I have for this this game now. I no longer have to dodge with this character, I just have to make sure I have my thing charged up. If I do, I'll take damage, but... Ooh. Oh, he hurts. Two hits and I'm almost... Yeah, that's why the, uh... The boss ones, the elder dragons are mean. Time for a counter -attack. He took off a third of my health in a couple of seconds, if that. And then just finished me off before I could do anything. I want to see if I can at least get like a horn break on him or something before I die again. Yeah, these things are tough. You almost never want to fight them without a group. Although the last one that I fought is easier without a group. Ah! Ah, oh, I got a counter off him at least. It's over for you. There we go. Playlist has ended. So once this nerd kills me, we shall finish. Now we'll probably raid on over to Trua. Get stunned already. Oh, made him angry. This is on my uh, my wake up playlist for in the mornings. Like when I'm on my way to work and stuff, and I need to wake myself up while I'm still on the bus. Although that did not work on Friday while I was ill. I literally fell asleep on the bus. It's my first sign that I probably should have gone home that day, earlier that day. Right, here he comes. Is he still angry? I'm able to tell. Where are you? Yeah, it's still angry. He's got the purple bits. Or like the blue fire. He one-shot me. Yeah, I will have to come back and do that guy with some friends. Oh, broke one of his claws. Right, that's all done. I just wanted to dick around for a bit. Um. So yeah, I'll be back again on Thursday. I don't know if I'll do more Monster Hunter. Might switch over and just do something else to dick around for a while. Might play some Destiny or something, but I'll leave song requests on for it. So. Boom, 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 boom. Right, 
saw. We're gonna go and say hello to Trua. So yeah, thank you for coming everybody. Thank you for hanging out and chilling and adding some more music to my playlist for me. <laughs> and I'll uh, so see you all soon. Bye bye everybody. Thank you Manu and Bart and Lenori and everybody else. Bye bye. boy if you've got it on switch bar give me a shout because i do have rise on switch as well and i'll join you if you want one bye boy bye 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 <gasps> you suck <laughs>